Hello there, fellow humans, and I thought I was gonna have a great Monday morning, but instead, that happened. So, let's react to it, obviously only in good fun, let's see what the person here has to say. Obviously, I've also looked at the video a little bit, and uh, I've already looked at the comments, and he says this in the comments, it's already not really very honest, because, for example, I have personally witnessed this man saying that he only does Blitz until his GTA channel grows enough so he can make money there, so let's react to a man that doesn't care about you while pretending to do, and while pretending to be a good person when he's probably not, but that's just my opinion, so let's have a look and let's objectively review this Apology video, but it's probably not really an apology really because it's coming from him because he's not gonna apologize for anything unless it benefits him personally So I'm gonna make three predictions here. Okay, he's gonna deflect. He's gonna say that what happened didn't happen He's gonna say that everybody else is the bad guy and except him and he's the saint that did nothing wrong and He's gonna pretend like nothing happened and then move on and you're also welcome to guess with me down in the comment section so, let's find out. This is a, quite a long video, it's 36 minutes, I'm probably gonna have a lot to say, and I'm probably gonna need a lot of alcohol to get rid of that afterwards. So, uh, let's, let's get into it, and then I'm gonna blur this in post, because honestly, I don't... I, me having to look at it is enough, you don't have to as well. I wanna point out that people oh. have an awful... Before I break into this video, I just want to point out that people have an awful attention span. And if you're going to voice your opinion in the comment section or on any other person's comment section about the situation and the allegations... Yeah, but you can't voice your opinion on his comment section though because he deletes anything that doesn't approve of him, so... Don't voice, this, don't voice your opinion there, it's gonna get deleted, don't you worry. And bullshit that's being spread about me. I love the artifact. Watch the whole freaking video before you type something. Because if you oh. just go into the comments and type something stupid, I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna tell you right now. Let's get into it. Hey there. And stu stupid for him probably means everything that he disagrees with. I guess. Everybody, welcome to the channel. I am I... pretty sure a lot of you are eagerly awaiting this. No, I was hoping that this never happened. Video, and you've been wondering uh, where I've disappeared to for the last two weeks. I in a deep, dark hole. And I'm going to be talking about everything today. The allegations that are placed against me, and <sighs> where I've been. Well, uh, the answer to where I've been for the past two weeks. You know, there's a lot of people saying that I'm running away from my problems or um, I'm trying to disappear so that I don't face justice for what I've done. And that's not the case. The reason I've disappeared is not only for my safety, but my family's safety. You see, there have been... A Here's the thing. This is the one thing, and I already said this in the video that I've made, the uh, eulogy video, that no matter how big of a piece of shit somebody is, Right? There is no reason to commit a crime against somebody for no reason, like, for example, to dox them or to harass their family. That is never okay in any situation. So why that even happened in the first place, I'm very disappointed. Not just in his supporters, but also some of the people that uh, decided to go too far. Like, making fun of him and calling him stupid is one thing, because that's my honest opinion of him, but... You know, harassing somebody and doxing his family, especially, that have essentially nothing to do with except producing him, I guess. That is not okay. So, let's make that very clear, of course. A dedicated group of people that have gone to doxing my address, that have gone to showing up at my house and literally taking a picture of themselves. What is that? What is that bottle, by the way? Is that lube? Is that like... I mean, it can't be skin lotion. What is that? Anyway, uh, let's move address, on. Address, which is incredibly creepy. Depot bucket in the scary. background as well. Um, and there's also people that have gone out of their way to try and message my parents, causing them to have to delete some of their social media. And yeah, that's to me, cool. that's just crazy. I mean, the fact that my parents are being affected by something that doesn't even have anything to do with them. Uh, it's it's just crazy. Uh, I've been away for the past two weeks because I've been trying to figure out what's going to happen to my family if we need to move or something along those lines. So if you've been wondering uh, where I've been for the past two weeks, now you know. I have been uh, pretty 
secluded, um, trying. Is that any different to like any other times? Like trying to make sure that my family is safe and that that's nobody's gonna try and duh. do something crazy. So that's where I've been. I hid my channel honestly because I was scared and um I just needed some time to think about what I wanted to say. And well, here we are. So let's actually talk about the allegations that are currently being pinned on me. Uh, what, what I'm curious is, is he reading a script here or is he just like spitballing it, right? Because the last apology video where, where he did, which I remember, he's, he wrote a script, which normally he never does. Normally he just starts the camera and talks words that make barely any sense. But let's see if the, he's reading a script here because obviously that would be very interesting as well. What exactly happened? Because I know for a fact you've been hearing a lot of BS from a lot of YouTubers who have been spewing their mouth. With see, see how he's just like glancing over the entire time? I think he's reading, he's reading a script there, so... Whether that's been written by a lawyer or not, obviously we'll never know. But if I was him, I'd probably consult with a lawyer here, let's be honest. Nobody to talk back. But I'm here. And I am going to stand my ground. I'm going to point out how much bullshit people have been spreading about my name. Now, first... I think he's the big, biggest proponent of that. Like, I don't think any other Blitz YouTuber would be in this much trouble because they're not like that. So let's, 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 let's keep the wagon in the barn here or whatever the Americans say. I don't know. First of all, I'm going to start off with the truth. And the truth is that this all started because of Jasper. Jasper was a channel member who was paying me That is not quite true. Because here's the thing, when I made my initial one hour fun, exposed, satire, ha ha, he's an idiot video, right? I was contacted by somebody that was uh, eventually like in this, right? So it didn't just start with the Jasper. Like it started a long time ago. It just came out now because the that thing happened. So I essentially had the keys to the kingdom quite a long time ago. Um, but obviously I didn't want anything to do with that at the time because I don't want to see that. So I declined. So let's stay real here. It just didn't just start then, right? That was the the boulder that got the whole avalanche rolling, but that's not where it started. Let's stay there. Like 70 bucks a month. He had also donated on multiple live streams and uh, called that? into my DMs probably about five months ago. And he just randomly started sending me like black porn. And he deleted all these images, by the way, you know. Well, I wonder where he got that idea from. He's acting like he's this innocent child that just uh, randomly got sent porn or something. But that's not the case. He had sent me probably close to 15 uh, images of gay black porn just randomly in my DMs. And I have told him this personally. That he's very easy to troll. And that he should very much make use of the block button. And I said that to him before all of this happened. Right? So, I don't know where that comes in. Right? I've personally told him in DMs that he's very easy to troll. He should start blocking people because they're going to take advantage of it. I took advantage of it for fuck's sake. I mean, I didn't send him porn, of course not. Ugh, Jesus. But this guy is so easy to troll. So easy to make fun of, because his ego is so massive, right, that he just has to be correct in any circumstance, all the time. So I've personally told him, listen, got a massive ego, you're so easy to troll, block people. But no, this is where we end up. I mean, I'm no friggin' saint, whatever, I say weird shit on Discord, I mean, it's in my Discord bio, so I don't expect anything different, but that's a whole level of different. I, eh, no, 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 no describing it as well, where I really didn't say anything as I wasn't comfortable with the situation. Um, I then proceeded to send just a joke as I've sent other people as well. I've sent... Like the one where you threatened that? Is that a joke? Of course it is. Mega line this joke that, you know, the age of consent in Ohio is 16. It's nothing more than a joke. And uh, he knew it was a joke. Uh, I mean, he can go back to his DMs and show them, which he probably won't. But he knew it was a joke at the time. I mean, it makes sense to not show things that might be subject to a legal investigation, which is why in my video I didn't show too much. 
I only showed what was necessary for context, because if something is legally relevant, then showing it in public is actually gonna not be good for it. So, yeah. It's uh, not, not a bad idea, and it kind of shows that he doesn't really have a clue how the law even works, so there's that. As well, and we both knew it was a joke. It was nothing more. Uh, and then, I don't know, maybe a week or whatever later, he was sending me more useless porn, and I sent him a joke of a femboy in return. And that was about as deep as it got. The video that was sent out by him or whatever, you know, he shared his screen to was a picture of me saying the age of consent in Ohio is a joke. And then the video that I sent him and nothing else in between. He cut out about 99% of the other diet. Yeah, but wait, sending porn to a minor is still a crime, right? I mean, I'm not very well versed in the American legal system, but did he just... Like, did he just... I don't know. ...dialogue that he left, or the messages that he had sent me beforehand. Now, I will fully admit that it was my fault to send a, a pornographic video. That was on me. He already said that before, where he apologized for something, and then did the same thing again. So, I think accepting an apology from him is not what I would personally do given his record of ignoring previous apologies, so I don't know how genuine this is, especially because he's not even genuine about liking Blitz, or unless has very conflicting opinions on liking Blitz, whatever, whatever suits him right, so I don't know about this one. I was stupid, I was dumb, I was gullible, I was in Look, a situation I where I, I was being paid by somebody who you know, was a fan. He was begging me to put him in VCs, which I reluctantly did every now and then. And you can ask Bat Chat, even though Bat doesn't seem to be on the friendliest of terms with me right now, which we'll break into later. You can ask Bat Chat or I'm anybody else who was in VCs there. at the current time. And I did not care about Jasper, nor did anybody else. And if anybody is thinking that I messaged him in sexual ways, tried to groom him, wanted to meet up or anything like that, you're... I could say something here, because I personally know somebody that has a different kind of contact with, with this guy, but since I don't think I should dox anybody here, I'm just gonna leave it at that, is that, yes, he didn't do that, but there are other things that you might not know, and that you don't want to know, so let's leave it at that, right? I have... No disillusion of competence here. You're wrong. And if that was being led on by the people who hate me or other content creators, they're wrong. And they're spreading misinformation. If you don't believe me, ask him to show you all the DMs. Because he hasn't... Guy earns like 15k a year and he can't buy a camera or a light that doesn't have hideous noise. That's impressive. Who said this guy has high production quality? Like, a Sony A7 IV is like $2,000. It wouldn't hurt him a bit. Come on. ...shown any of the DMs apart from two pictures. It's one mighty coincidence that he only chose two things to show out of 500 messages that he probably sent back and forth. So, yeah. It's a little BS that he's trying to lead it on to the way that I groomed him or that I had feelings for him. I didn't. The only reason I messaged him to begin with and uh, kept up with messaging I like his him was because he was paying me monthly. It's very nice. I really could not care less about him. Need some emotional support for this one as well. Let's go. Him, uh, in an attracted way or in any way, I haven't messaged him in months. I never once tried to groom him as people have, have said I have. In fact, I stopped messaging Jasper literally uh, after maybe a month of us speaking. And it was because I just don't care about him. I never did. And it's most likely why he got... Just like he doesn't care about the people that defend him. That's what my assumption is. I mean... You know, I, I don't think that somebody that says that they only do Blitz for money and that they want to quit Blitz once GTA becomes big, which I have personal record of, um, I don't think that they particularly care about the community that is following them, right? And there are other motives that are important here, so...
my assumption of uh, what's happening. Got mad and tried posting the crap about me and trying to get me canceled. So that's the reality of the Jasper situation. I made a mistake of sending a video which I shouldn't have to him. That was my fault. However, it had zero sexual implication. And as much as sure people want to spread lies, uh, that was never the case. It was never going to be the case. And uh, it's just incredible to me how much people will skew the truth of what actually happened. And if you think that I'm lying to you, I'm just trying to save my character or face. And that I know that he's a liar, I think. Because he's done that very many times previously. And if you lie repeatedly then i think things that are said after aren't really that genuine anymore at least what i think right because if you like repeatedly lie about things even in game things like for example i don't know blocking somebody in a in a match if you repeatedly lie about all those things then any further things said aren't really very credible but hey that's just me i don't know what do you think? Put it in the comments. That I did actually try to manipulate him or groom him, then ask him to show all the DMs. Because what you're actually going to see is that I stopped messaging him maybe four months ago. And for the past couple months, he has just been trying to message me, asking to tune, asking to VC, asking for a moderator in my server. And I never replied once. I never gave him moderator. I never gave him anything. You would think that somebody trying to take advantage of a child, trying to groom somebody, would give them the things they want, would spend more time with them. I mean, I wouldn't assume that he's trying to take advantage of children, except financially. Obviously, I wouldn't assume that he would want to take advantage of children otherwise, other than them giving him money. Because this video is also monetized. Remember that. So the point that I just made is very much there because he monetized this apology video. But that wasn't the case here. That was never the case. I was never attracted to Jasper, and that will always be the truth. The only Ain't reason I that. even messaged Jasper to begin with was because of the fact he was paying me monthly. And I didn't want him to feel like I didn't care about him. So I messaged him, <laughs> and I thought that he was joking, so I joked and sent something that I shouldn't have. As I said before, it was a joke. He knew it was a joke. None of what we said- It's always a joke. Every time. Ed had anything to do with real life, or any attraction to each other whatsoever, and you can ask him to go get those DMs up if you don't believe me. So that's the truth of that situation. And- if you still don't believe me, what do I what do I gain from this video? Four plus years, all I've been doing is trying to build my YouTube career up. And, uh, you know, over the past year, I've really been trying to uh, was trying to uh, become a CC for Wargaming. And they had just finally decided they were going to put me into the game. Big mistake. And I'm going to put this right here is that if Wargaming decides to work with them again, I'm out. So... Yeah, that uh, was a mistake from the beginning. Maybe me being a CC is also a mistake, but... And they made my profile background and my avatar. And, you know, I was actually really happy. And then everything got destroyed in front of me. You know, I, I always wondered what it was like for other people to, to get canceled. You know, I've always just wondered what it feels like. And I know what it feels like. It's it's legitimately the worst feeling in your life. Because not only has everything you've worked for over the past four or five years, maybe longer for other people, uh, all that work possibly gone down the drain. But now you have 10, 20, 30 crying? videos of people spreading misinformation and lies about you, saying you're a sexual predator. You have DMs uh, saying that you should kill yourself, that you're going to go to jail for the rest of your life. That Yeah, I definitely think that some sending somebody death threats for that is a bad idea. So, but I think that, that yeah, that, that should explain itself that's a bad idea. People are going to find me, and people have doxed me, messaged my parents. I, I mean, uncool I don't even want to get out of bed. I've, I've lost 
almost all my friends and even the friends that do talk to me uh, don't want other people to know that I'm talking to them because they don't want to be associated with me uh, in terms of Blitz. I haven't loaded up the game in two weeks. Uh, I, it's uh, For the record, after this video was published, like three hours after, he immediately made a Eric Concept 1 review. So he, he did play Blitz right after to... Again, trying to brush over everything that happened and just continue as normal. His GTA channel is also back online and uh, is available again. But obviously, subscription numbers are removed. Because if you private a channel, then that goes away. So, to, to note that, that he's back to making Blitz videos already. Honestly, been the most depressed I've ever been in my life. And the craziest part about it is that 99% of what people are saying about me isn't even true. And it's just, well, yeah. So, really, I don't think I have much to hide at this point. I think I've covered the entire Jasper situation. I will admit some fault to it. I some, was uh... trying to get money from somebody monthly and uh, replied to them. And that was my fault. The moment he was sending me inappropriate messages and you pictures, see? I should have reported it to Discord. That's where you see and that what's it. more so important, money or integrity. Back. Let's move on to some of the other allegations which are being played against me. I mean, obviously, Martimator was going to make a video on <laughs> me. And I like how he tried acting like he knew this was the case. Martimator, you spent literally years trying to dig up any information you could on me, trying to find out how terrible of a person I was and made your whole hour plus documentary on me trying to besmeech my name and you're saying you knew about doesn't it say doesn't it mean besmirch i don't know but that's just me so i have never claimed that i knew that he sent anything to a child i simply in my original one hour video i stated that I think he's an idiot and a fraud, but that he's not a bad person. I would have never said that if I would have ever guessed something of this sort. But obviously, I have been contacted right after the initial video um, with something that I then didn't reply to. So I find this to be somewhat inaccurate. Uh, could have been said better, let's be honest here. And I haven't really spent years on it, to be honest. I've sporadically gone around here. And then the, the reason why that one hour video took basically since November uh, to make until April is because I just kept dragging it out because I kind of didn't want to work on it, but I was like, yeah, let's just uh, get it done. But it, and also that one hour video is not monetized, so I basically did that for free. So, um, yeah, I don't know, really. Probably wasn't worth it, to be honest. Like, I'd probably, it would have been easier to make it shorter, let's be honest. And I would also so like to add here that why it took so long is because there kept being a new controversy pretty much every month at that point. So whenever I was like, okay, that's it, I'm done, I can do this now, there was a new controversy that I had to deal with and then to also include and document in that video. So basically just never got done because things just kept happening and happening and happening. So, uh, well, I find it quite a bit uh, like him what he stated here, so I'm disappointed. I'm quite a lot disappointed that he once again tries to spin the facts in his favor rather than actually look at the things the way they happened. This, yet you didn't say any of that in your video, really? Yeah, okay, bro. You want to see a great example? Yeah, I didn't. Like, I had no, like, the, the thing that I was contacted with was going on since 2020. But I wasn't told that because I declined to engage. So the things that I said in my one hour video, they are what I found on the internet and what my opinion of this person is. I did at no point try to assume things I didn't know. Obviously, I made a lot of jokes in that video about him and about myself, but at no point did I suggest that that is the very case, right? I simply, in my second video, took clips from the first video that might have been applied at the time and replayed them. So, I guess maybe he's got like, this big of a point. Probably shouldn't 
Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I would uh, rephrase that to be honest to uh, to state something different. Well, of how somebody like Martimator or any of these other you know budget YouTubers <laughs> are, are trying to make allegations against me which don't exist to begin with. Well, here's a great one, right? This is in Martimator's video. It says for as long as I've known Drudels, he legit had a thing for me, and I never realized it until now. He oh. dated me when I was 14, and he was 17, something. 18 for two months, and he also sent me his you know. Like I honestly have no words anymore to trust people. He's known me since I was 13, 14, and I'm 18 now. You want to know who sent that message? The name is blocked, but I know who that is because there's only one person who would send that message. Most likely, this person thought that because my channel was hidden and that my Discord server was... It's weird to imply that I say that that is true when my video that I made literally states a disclaimer that I don't rate or, like qualify the evidence, that I just simply show and document what has been done. So, what are we doing here exactly? Like, uh? It's deleted that I wasn't going to be able to make a response. But trust me, I'm making a response. You want to know why that person's remaining anonymous? Probably because it's Nala, the person who catfished me. Yeah. Mm. Let's actually break into that, right? So, years ago, is that, does that qualify as doxing? I don't know. I mean, he did it before as well. I mean, again, it doesn't justify that he gets doxxed, but he sort of did that before against a uh, Blitz person, like basically in a, I think it was a one to one b video, so I, don't, I don't remember. But basically he found somebody's YouTube channel. From their YouTube channel, he found their Blitz information, and then he made fun of their Blitz stats for writing a comment against him. On a YouTube video, that's what I remember there, so I wouldn't uh, put that past him. In fact, I was basically the one who was emotionally manipulated and lied to. The only reason that it lasted for... Which, let's be honest, isn't right, but also isn't very difficult. So... Yeah. So the fact that it's being led on that I groom somebody at the age of 14 is bullshit. I was the one who was emotionally manipulated and was led on to believe that this college girl wanted to date me. Just um, how are you trying to? Okay, here's here's the thing that I'm asking. You're on Discord, right? And if you're on Discord, the best thing to assume is that you're not talking to a woman, unless you have very clear evidence of that. So... Yeah... Listen... I don't think it's nice to get catfished, and it's probably not very nice to exploit somebody very emotionally vulnerable. Um, but one could know better. Let's put it that way. And... Again, my video did not state that that is the truth, so I, I don't know what the, the point is here. So I just reported that it existed. And that I have also been sent a big file of supposed evidence that I haven't opened. So I simply reported what I saw. So, uh, and obviously I made fun of him because that's very easy to do and it is funny. To explain how manipulative of a person Nala is, the story doesn't just end there. First of all, uh, when I had first started messaging Nala, or Mistress, you want to say back at the time, uh, she had said that she was raped and that she was pregnant and had to have an abortion with emergency surgery to have the baby taken out. You know? I see that. Didn't I remember? I think I remember that Discord username from somewhere. I mean, not that I personally had any contact, but I remember having seen that username somewhere. Also, the story that he's just telling is a bit wild, and I would not initially believe it. It's too wild. So, a bit coincidence there. So, I mean, you, you can't, obviously, you can look smart in hindsight and ha ha ha, you should have known, but 
that's a bit much just to manipulate me even further and make me feel bad and not only that but once i had sent the image back to nala and said what the frick you lied to me uh you're not even a, a woman uh, the reply was oh i'm actually trans and i had surgery uh to to become a woman and i didn't want to tell you because i didn't want to upset you then after i pointed out that that was a lie uh, Nala then said that he was actually working as part of a detective agency trying to catch pedos and that I passed the test. So let me get this straight. You want to remain anonymous, yet also act like I was the one who groomed you, emotionally manipulated you, when you were the one who manipulated me. Now, again, at this very point, I don't know which side here is truthful and obviously when i say that i i don't rate the other side i'm also not gonna rate this and i don't know whether he's telling the truth here and who knows whether he's telling the truth i mean he's not showing anything obviously most likely for legal reasons but it makes sense to not show anything but it would also make more sense to if there are legal implica implications to this then um to keep that within the parties that are relevant rather than blurting on the internet, right? So, because you were the one who tried messing with my mind, and I literally had stopped messaging Nala for years. I only started contacting him again just a few months ago, and the reason had why. I mean, I I told this guy to block people. Because he's easy to fuck with. What am I going to do? Try to help him. Not really, but I told him. I also told him that for a long time, even though he earns like 10k a month, he still had microphone noise in his videos, and he did fix that, so congratulations. Um, but uh, calling, the, uh, calling him professional is what I find funny. Anyway, so let's see nothing to do with me liking nala it has is it like a, a what's what's in here is he like i don't know is he got, like, does he have like a reptilian or something like that is he one i eh, probably not i don't think he fits in there <sighs> nah, he doesn't fit in there but hey if you have a, a cute uh, reptilian friend you could show him to the audience you know I don't know what that is, but it could also be a chicken. It had to do with the fact that there was another person involved who was treating Nala wrong, and I didn't like that. So I helped Nala get out of an incredibly tricky situation. I really only have two words for you, Nala, and it's fuck you. How can you seriously sit here and act like I'm the one who groomed you? I'm the one who took advantage of you when it's completely opposite. Look in the mirror. You abused me when I was in a, a time of depression. I've got two words for you. Fuck it. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. And acted like you um, were some girl who wanted to date me when you weren't even a girl. And by the way, I never sent him any inappropriate pictures or anything inappropriate at the time when we were dating. The only time he saw my junk was when he was 18 years old because he lied and manipulated me again, acting like... Is he stupid? Why would... Okay, I'm just... No, 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 let's just leave that out. He was becoming trans, and that he wanted to literally turn his dick and put it inside out. That's what he told me. And again, he has all these DMs. Like, I'm not making this shit up. Kill me. He literally sent me a picture of him saying that he was a femboy. And by the way, I reversed image searched that and found it in literally 10 minutes. He had not only manipulated me in the past, but in the current as well. And I'm the one I who's getting the it. flack for it. Seriously, I have absolutely nothing to say. It's just, just wow.
And then we have the Andy Poe allegations. Oh, you know, no, this genius them. posted Next a whole thing. video uh, trying to say how terrible of a person I was and how uh, porn ruined his image of women and that I was the reason that he can't live. Now, I haven't seen the, uh, the full video, so again, I can't state on that. Uh, but I have seen the uh, corresponding Google image, uh, Google document file that uh, had alleged evidence in it. And that was, uh, yeah, it wasn't fun. I regret looking at it very much. Just like I regret ever interacting with this person ever. But, uh, well, I started it. Might as well just uh, roll it out. The normal life anymore. Uh, but was also the genius who posted a video to YouTube that had literal porn in it, which children probably watched. Uh, I mean, obviously the video got taken down, but still, you got to be really, really smart to, you know, put porn in a YouTube video. My knowledge is well, it was taken down manually, not by YouTube, but I don't know whether that's uh, valid or not. So let's leave it at a draw. And you're the same person who then when these, you know, like when people try canceling me, you jump right on the bandwagon and act like he didn't jump right on the bandwagon. Like I've said before, when I made my long one hour video, he did contact me and I declined. I didn't want anything to do with the situation anymore. So ugh. it's also in my video that I made. And did he watch it? Like, I mean, he had a, he had an excerpt of it that he liked, I guess. But did he actually watch the whole thing? I mean, back when I made my long hour video, he also made a reply video, which I still haven't watched, by the way. And I don't think there's enough alcohol in the world that's going to get me to do that. Um, but I don't think that he's thoroughly informed on the whole situation. That's just my opinion. Your life was ruined because as a 17 year old or 16 year old, you saw porn. Really? Really? I forgot, you know, 16 year olds have never seen porn before. And you seeing it ruins your image of women. What are you even on about, bro? Like, I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what. I mean, addiction is a huge problem and can severely distort the image of reality. So if that is the case, then. Obviously, one should seek therapy, but I don't think it's entirely unlikely that such a thing's going to happen, right? Because it still can be a, a very debilitating addiction. So, yeah, let's see. To say, we then have economics mate. Economics mate is a person who I haven't talked to in years. We used to be acquaintanced. And then we stopped talking because he faded off into obscurity and didn't really post on his channel ever again. And obviously when Droodle's drama gets brought up, boom, just like The Flash, pops up, makes two videos on the drama. I mean, you got to get that sweet ad revenue, right? Uh, interesting. Second video, he tries claiming that I was the person in the video that was sent to Dra Jasper. I'm a femboy. And that he never knew I was gay or a femboy. And not only that, but I was filming myself and sending it to Jasper. All of those are wrong. Um, yes. Like, what, what are we even on about, economics? It would take one second to ask anybody who knows how to use the internet, is this video of Droodles? And they would say no. It's crazy to me how you can make a video that can seriously hurt my image as a person, yet you can't even do the simple job of fact-checking I think the one best hurting his image is still going to be him. Like, there wouldn't be as much controversy about him if he wouldn't be like that. So, I don't know. But yes, obviously that video was not of him. And then we break into the, the Bat Chat Begins situation, which is... Um, it, it's probably the most hurting out of the whole situation. Uh, and it's because of the fact I really thought Batcha and I were friends. He's a person. I even, I don't know if I cut, I don't remember actually, I don't know if I cut this from the original one hour video, but I even made fun of that. Batcha and, and him are very, very close. So that is quite a big, quite a, quite a big rip there. But again, I don't remember if I uh, did leave that in the final cut of the, of the video back then. So.
obviously there were, there were a lot of things in that video that were not in the final edits and i i'm not that kind of person who's gonna <sighs> blackmail or do anything like that but the point being so uh post-production me here uh this man before i made the big video right he said to me that he has a friend that knows how to go through Discord and find messages. That's what he said to me. So I, I just wanted to throw that in. And you know, I had talked to Batchat uh, about the situation and that I needed to figure out what I was going to do in a response. And then I, I went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and he blocked me. And he had made a video on me. I mean, I'm pretty surprised that it only took him two weeks to reply and come back. Maybe, maybe, maybe missing that sweet ad revenue. I don't know, but uh, it's a very interesting choice. Let's put it that way. Obviously, also with deleting the negative comments under the video, um, and obviously only allowing comments of, I'd put it blind faith at this point, right? Because there is a certain portion of the Blitz YouTube community that is fanatically uh, fanboying over this guy. Something that you should never do over anybody. Right? Nobody deserves 100% trust and support, ever. And if you do that, then uh, you have a pretty big problem. You never want to 100% thrust, uh, thrust somebody. Yes, that's... Uh, it's 12 a.m., okay? I'm terrible, am I? So... Ugh. But yeah, you, you don't want to ever trust somebody 100%. So... Never. And said how terrible of a person I was and that I was a groomer. A person who I had been with friends for years. People who you thought were your friends instantly turned on you the moment things went south. I mean, space... People I thought weren't that bad. Or, never mind. But and I were friends for probably six, seven years. And he blocked me. He, he blocked me at the moment. All this... Yes, and that is his very good right to do. I don't know what the exact problem is. Like, anybody can stop being friends with anyone at any time, right? You're not forced to be friends with anybody. That would not be very fair. And I would think that, like, being friends with this guy in the first place must have been somewhat difficult. Obviously, I, I'd never tried really so yeah there's no right to friendship basically like nobody's forced to be friends with you nobody's forced to like you even though some people disagree with that um, nobody is forced to accept things that are being said of course like if somebody thinks that i'm an idiot then uh yeah so what I can either talk to them, try to change their opinion, or I can just be like, okay, whatever, I don't care. So, yeah, it's the same with the relentless cult fanboys, right? Like, what are they going to do? Change their opinion? Hell not. Nah. Why talk to them? You can block anybody at any time, right? And that's what he should have done a long time ago to a lot of people, including me, because it's... Like, I told him that! Fuck! Oh, there he goes. I'm still PG, I think. I'm, I'm allowed one F-bomb through the entirety, so... Came out, he, he instantly blocked me. Never asked how anything was going, my side of the story, just gone. I messaged him, because I don't know if he had blocked me on the phone yet. I'd that messaged is him there. possible, and, yes. And uh, to no avail. So, I lost two of my dearest friends over the allegations here. And, yeah, and most they can of it do isn't that. true. And, um... I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I, I mean, it's truly devastating um, what happened. Then we have Meadsy's video. And from Meadsy's point of view, I completely understand where he's coming from. But... Is he going to talk about me again? Because I just love the way he says my name. Like, it just, just does something. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah. But from my point of view, I need to point out right now that there's a very big difference between what happened with him and what's happened with me here. You know, Meadsy went through a very traumatic uh, situation with his daughter, and I know 
that he's talked about it a lot, but I still don't want to be the person that talks about it on this channel. I but don't point know being, nothing about uh, that. So went through a lot of trauma uh, due to their neighbor. And, you know, uh, Meadsy's video basically said that deleting my channel isn't going to stop anything and that I can't hide from my actions and that I... That is true. So... Also, I think I want to point out one thing here, is that there were people that I saw that were like, oh, but even if he... I don't care how he is as a person, I just watch him because he makes Blitz videos. If, Char if Charles Manson would make tank reviews, would you watch him? Like, the person behind the video is just as important as the video itself. So I just want to very much point that out right here, that it's also important who's making the video or not, just what's going on in the video. So, to those that were like, oh, but I don't care about who he is, I just want to watch Blitz. You can't absolve yourself from reality like that. Like, uncool. Uncool. I need to be held accountable. And I'm not hiding from my actions. The reason I disappeared is because I feared for my safety and my family's safety. Because those are the most important things, and you should know that more than anybody. Which... Let's be honest, it's quite credible. Like, I believe him on this one because that Discord server, the, the exposed Discord server, which I have since obviously left, was uh, quite a bit too much on itself. So, yes, valid here. Family is the most important thing because while some of my friends may have ditched me, and I told fanboys. my family Don't forget exactly the fanboys. what was happening. And they stood by me, which is insane to have such a loving family and I, i'm not hiding from what has happened uh, as i said the jasper situation is my fault and i i was stupid in that is he going to learn from it though because from all the past things the answer is no but if this is the stock market and past events don't predict future events it might actually be a, a wake-up call to change but given what happened in the past i still don't think that this is gonna change anything whatsoever it might even result in a even further doubling down i mean let's be honest here um i don't know what this is gonna result in circumstance there but these other allegations are not true and are you sure I, I'm sorry that you had to go through this, Mitsi. I'm sorry. And if you can't ever speak to me again, or you don't ever want to speak to me again, then I understand. But I'm not hiding, and I'm here to set the record straight. And then we arrive to all the YouTube channels that pop out of thin air to make a video commenting on how bad of a person I am and you know how how many terrible things I've done. I've already documented that earlier. Like, it's not, not new. Well, you know what I tell you in response? How about you do a single good thing for the World of Tanks Blitz community? How about instead of focusing on drama, which every other person's already done, some of This guy! This guy! Trying to lecture other people. I'm doing good for the community. The audacity! The absolute audacity of this guy trying to, in any way, lecture anybody about doing good for the community. Damn. That is wild. And I think that in the World of Tanks Blitz sphere, there is always one common denominator when it comes to drama. Most of the time. Um, like, the one hour video I made didn't come out of nowhere. Right? Uh, it was essentially, again, a, a documentation of all the things that happened. Right? So... You know, if you don't do dumb shit, other people won't critique and complain and laugh at said dumb shit. So, just saying. I mean, I do dumb shit all the time, and quite frankly, I'm not made enough fun enough for it, so... Yeah? The, the audacity to lecture people on what's good for the community. Like, just be a good person. That's all you gotta do.
Like, ugh. Like, sure, I can, I can tell him to block people and to fix his microphone and to, you know, invest some effort despite making 15k a month or whatever he's making. And he's just like, press record, film for 20 minutes, press and record, upload. I think the amount of effort that goes into that is minimal. Right, you can point that out, but if that's the type of content that you want to make, then sure. This is what I'm doing right now. Like, this is, I literally press record. I'm talking, and then I press end record. Like, I'm doing the low-quality shit right now. <laughs> but, um, interesting. This is, it's getting kind of, kind of warm, to be honest. You have posted multiple videos on this drama. And yet, you have posted zero videos to helping this community get better in any way, shape, or form. You are the toxic sludge that piles up and wants to fester off drama rather than actually doing anything good for this game. The Blitz community... I don't know, I, I don't think blocking people in-game and constantly raging and... You know, boxing people's stats is good for the game. I don't know. Community needs tutorials. The Blitz community needs more people making videos on this game and how to get better at it. And the fact that all these creators, which I've never heard of before, will come out of the woodworks to try and cancel me, yet don't have the decency to put an ounce of effort into teaching other people how to get better. Possibly because those people happen to have a life, happen to have a job, happen to have school, happen to have things they're busy with, and therefore can't dedicate 20 hours of their day and make seven videos an hour to Blitz. Right? And also, the standard is a lot different than when you're an amateur, you're just making videos for fun to you know, do a little bit on the side, versus when you're professionally doing that as your job. The standard, the quality that they have to bring the accountability you have to bring when you do that professionally is a lot higher than if you just do it as a job, as a random fun on the side, right? So you can't really compare that directly because, you know, like a guy playing around with tubes in his basement is not going to be as responsible as a plumber for a hundred story building. For example, so when you, when you do something professionally, you have a lot more responsibility on something. Uh, comparing that, I think, is a bit off. That, to me, is despicable. And I think that it really shows how, at the end of the day, these people don't give a shit about you. All they want to do is see... Does he give a shit about you, though? I mean, he said multiple times that he's doing Blitz as long as... His GTA isn't doing that well, and that whenever his GTA channel does really well, he's gonna quit Blitz. That's what, he, that's what he said. He's also said multiple times that he hates the game. So, and now then again, he says he loves the game, so I don't know which one it is there, but uh, he might have lied, as always, about wanting to quit Blitz and going to the GTA. It might have been a joke. But it's always that. It's either a lie or a joke, right? So, I don't know. I don't think he cares much. I mean, I have to, I'm going to say right now, I do not give a shit about the people that rabidly defend him. Right? I don't, I don't want you. <whistles> go. Go. Oof. But, yeah. I don't know how much he cares about his own community. I'm not very sure. So. Me burn. That's all they want to do. What I find crazy is that there is a group of 300 plus people, and the only thing that they are trying to do I think this video is has ruin more cuts my life. Than it's every single one of his videos just combined. Just by posting Blitz videos and calling probably their opinions dog shit, they will go to the ends of the earth to try and ruin my career. The doctor disrespect drama. Dude was literally married, had children, tried to meet up with a minor at TwitchCon had less drama than the allegations going on against me. I think that's a gross misinterpretation of reality right here. I mean, let's be honest. 
And the crazy part is that these people don't even care if they're spreading misinformation because all they want is for my channel to burn. And even if they lie, it's just like... Which is a reasonable wish, I think, given the impact this channel is having on the whole representation of the Blitz community. But obviously lying about it is not any better. That's his job, I think. Like the media, Fox News, CNN, people listen to whatever's told. Because if there's nobody to back it up, it's true. It must be true. It's been two weeks now, and I've not seen a single DM video or anything pop up of me ever saying that I wanted to see what a minor looked like, that I ever wanted to meet up with that minor, or I was sexually attracted to that minor. All people are doing is saying that I'm a terrible person because I apparently tried to groom people, even though... I was the one who was manipulated when it came to the Nala city. This is a very interesting strategy of defense. It happens quite a lot where, oh, but I'm the victim. I'm the real victim. <laughs> um, that's a often used defense strategy. So I don't know how believable it is, but let's leave it at that. Situation. I wasn't even 17 when it came to Andy. And these other allegations, they were two, three, four years ago these people are digging into dm yeah that's kind of the problem as well because the big video i made i try to only focus on what happened in the last year and it still went way too long so and I, I had a few other points in there for context but i tried to make that big video only about what happened in the last year because for example he himself said that Oh, things three years ago aren't relevant anymore, but then in a screenshot from the reply video he made against me, he pointed out something from 2021. So we're having a bit double standards here, which is not surprising. When I wasn't even 18 years old. And by the way, I should mention Blank the Discord crack. server, which had Woo. over 300 people trying to besmeech my name, trying to... Sony A7... Four, possibly. It's mostly a video camera, but it, uh, it's mostly a picture camera, but it does for that. Get a 35 millimeter, right? Get some good lighting, big softbox, you know, professional lighting. Claim to be a professional. The Home Depot bucket is there. I think it's a Home Depot bucket. I'm not sure. I just know it's an orange bucket. So, yeah, well, like, I don't know. That. Making that much money. And that's your quality. And that, I'm the bad guy if I call out that that is bad quality. Jesus Christ. I mean, I sometimes make mistakes and I sometimes have a lot of have errors in my videos and stuff like that. But I don't do it as professionally. This isn't my job. I don't make, I don't know how much, thousands a month. So, uh... Please, buy a real camera, if it's one thing. If that's one thing you learn from this whole situation, buy a fucking real camera and get some good lighting. Jesus. To dig up any dirt they could four, five years ago got deleted due to breaking the terms of service, spreading hate speech about me. These people in that server did not care if they were spreading lies or the truth about me because at the end of the day, they had one goal in mind and that was to see me burn. All these YouTube videos you're seeing pop up from creators you've never seen before, these are people that have gone out of their way throughout years trying to hate on me for anything that I've said or done, whatever reason that may be. Point. There are a lot of reasons for that. It is. These people tried so hard to frame me and say whatever they wanted that wasn't even true that the server got deleted. So. Is it? I mean, I don't know. I left it, I think, like two or three days after it got created. I tried a little bit to moderate it. I mean, I tried to at least make people stop saying the N-word. Uh, but I don't know if that what happened to that server because obviously I uh, left it because I didn't think that the server was uh, very valid. Who are you going to believe here? The people who got their server? Not him.
server deleted who had 300 plus people trying to dig up any bit of dirt they could or the person who actually knows what happened and has proof do you does he we'll never know you're just blind they believe him. is this the mistake that we're all gonna make that you're gonna make to just blindly believe this guy which a lot of his followers do and that's kind of the problem right if you blindly believe anybody Always a bad thing. Leads to bad things. It leads to people, especially with ones that are already full of themselves, to get even higher on their own supply. And that is a bad thing. These people don't care about what happened hey, or even the, the truth. Camera. All they want is to see my channel burn. That's all they want. I've been dealing with allegations of people typing in fake messages on Discord, like me saying the N-word, which I never have in any Discord DM. Given what I've seen, I don't think it's too unlikely. I mean, that's just my opinion here, but let's be honest. I wouldn't exclude that it happened. I'm not saying he did say it. But I'm not sure if you really didn't. Well, that's just my opinion. Or chats whatsoever. But people have fabricated that and acted like I have. Even Martimator threw that in one of his videos. Great fact checking. Like. I put under, like in my uh, eulogy video, I put a message statement under one of them that this might be a. I'm just not gonna. Whatever. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. People will literally go to the ends of the earth to try and ruin me. And in this situation, I'm sorry, but I'm not sexually attracted to children. I'm not a groomer. I'm not in any way attracted to minors. So good. If you think that I am, if you think I'm some sort of sexual predator, I'm not. In fact, I have plenty of DMs where like Joey, for example, who literally on my live streams as like a 16 year old would type in the wildest, craziest sexual comments. He has messaged me in DMs and I've literally told him that I cannot be having any of these conversations with him because he's under the age of 18. And there are plenty of people out there who will stand up for me, who have messaged me and have said, hey, I'm under the age of 18. And I've literally said, I can't help you. I don't want to speak with you. I have seriously been trying to just become a better person. Uh, how long has he been trying that? I mean, sure, you have to acknowledge the fact that he says he's trying. But uh, I don't know how valid that is, and especially because he's now back after just two weeks. I think he should have taken a lot more time to reflect on everything, right? Rather than just, like, take off two weeks and be like, oh, it's not my fault, back to Blitz videos. Because I don't think that is going to solve much. And there probably needs to be a long time of understanding and reflection and critical thinking, which is very difficult these days, I think, um, to uh, solve that. But I just think that two weeks is nowhere near enough. And I think this video also proves that there hasn't been enough reflection being done. In general, I was literally planning on deleting my old Discord account and moving to a new one this month. Like, without even any of this bullshit that happened, I was planning on moving to a new Discord. You can ask any of my friends, even Batchat, he will agree that I was moving my Discord to a new one. I had made the account, already started having new friends over. But why? But why, though? I mean, if you look at my DMs on Discord, most you'll find is weird, random, great hour arguments about religion. So, I don't know why you would move to a new Discord account when, when you can just, like... Discord has a feature where you can, like, reject DMs from new people. Does he know that? Like, you can just reject DMs from people. I mean, I don't really get DMs that often because I also...
specifically in my uh, Discord bio, I have that you should only DM me if it's actually important. But I, there are ways to simply avoid getting DMs in the first place. Just saying. So, I don't know. Simply because I've been maturing as a person. And I've been really? wanting to leave the past behind and grow up. I just don't want to be in that negative mindset where I've argued with these people. I don't want DMs from seven years ago when I was playing Xbox 360 at the age of 15 years old or whatever, 14 years old, to be brought up now. Everybody Is that what I said, the N-word? Probably not. Everybody that wanted the shit on me had two weeks to do so. And that is also, coincidentally, how long it takes to delete a Discord account. Now, the reason I deleted my main Discord account is not because I'm trying to hide from anything. It's simply because... I still have access to the entirety of the DMs here, so... I don't mind publishing that. Let's be honest. I don't want other people to make up more bullshit. People have had two weeks to post whatever they want about me, to screenshot whatever they've had of my DMs. And now, my account is gone. All the messages are deleted. Which means that if there's new The messages aren't deleted. They're still there. If you know... Like it says, deleted user something 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 you know what exactly the deleted user is, you can still find every single message on every single server and in DMs. Given that you still have the DM open, you can't find it anymore if the DM's closed, but if it's still open, you can still access it. So uh, besides that, Discord is very terrible at data security, uh, which means that uh, you can still find things. And generally, um, little little insert here, it's probably inappropriate to go like after one hour to talk about how data storage works, but... Let's just put it this way, that whenever you store something and you delete that, it doesn't actually get deleted, especially on your computer as well. The only thing that happens is that that section gets released to be overwritten in the future, right? So the data that you just deleted is still there. The only thing that gets removed is the reference to that data, whereas the computer says, hey, look, there's a file there that gets removed. However, with the right tools, you can still find that exact file unless it's been overwritten. And even if it's overwritten, you can sometimes trace it back and find it again. So deleting things on the internet can be useful, but it is only so certain to not be come up again. And especially Discord is, is known for very loose data storage. So just because something's deleted doesn't mean it's actually irretrievable. Right, with the right tools, you could probably get it back. So, just a little bit of internet security there that uh, you can delete things, but most of the time, they aren't deleted, they just get uh, marked as deleted. Allegations that start coming out? They're bullshit. My account's gone. People can't make more allegations if my account is literally non-existent. So, just in case... What the hell kind of logic is that? people didn't get the point of the video. I'm not attracted to children. I never have ah. been. I never Ooh. will be. So, saying that... I know something else he's attracted to, though, and I wish I didn't know that. And I'm not gonna say anything, because literally... Terrible. ...that I'm attracted to, to children is just a blatant lie. That is you a blatant lie. You can set me up to a polygraph. I'll get all... Polygraphs are... legally questionable and generally don't indicate much. So, bad idea. All of them, right? Because I'm telling the truth right now. I do not care about children. I have zero sexual attraction. See? He doesn't actually care about his community. He just said he doesn't care about children. Most of his community are children. Huh? What am I doing here? I'm hungry. Why am I doing this? Why am I, why am I even doing this to myself? And why am I doing it to you as well? Jesus Christ. Ugh. ...traction to minors in any way, shape, or form. And I don't want dick. Nor do I want it anywhere near me. I'm not gonna say anything. So, anybody trying to say that I am... Uh, 
attracted in any way to these people I'm messaging, you're wrong. Have I learned anything from this situation? No. Yes. First of all, oh, wow. it's a wake up call. I am no longer a teenager and the way I interact with people needs to change. I have always looked at myself as a child because I've literally sat in my room, depending on which house I've lived in, for whatever, you know, like 90% of the day and then I go to sleep. That's been my life. So, uh, you know, I never... Second point. If, if you buy a professional camera and you upgrade it. You could also, for example, use it to go outside, have a new hobby, for example, so that you can maybe change your perspective on a few things, right? This is not a Canon ad. So, uh, I don't know about you, but find a hobby. It can be very useful, right? Because if, you, if all you do is play Bliss, then I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Wouldn't be for me really matured uh, enough to realize that the way I interact with people was not a way that an adult should. So the first thing that I'll say is that in general, uh, I'm not going to be talking to people on Discord apart from some friends every now and then. Uh, you're just not going to see me all too active on Discord. If you have questions about tanks and I do get a server set up again, then yes, you can ask me questions about tanks. But in any other regard, anything that has to do with Anything outside of Blitz, I'm not going to reply. We'll see. The uh, second thing I've I have learned in I general is facts. just how many people hate me. Um, it's cr that's not surprising. Crazy to me. And there's probably an equal, if not larger, amount of people that are unreasonably fanboying. I don't know about that. Maybe we should I don't know, thank them or something. Oh wait, you only want their money? Is it? No. Oh to what extent people will go to try and ruin somebody else's achievements. To me, that's insane. I'm glad that I reached 100k. I have my 100k plaque. Um, I, I, honestly, I'm quite happy with that. So we... I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. Even if the channel does disintegrate, I've already achieved 100k, which was my goal for Blitz. So that's the second thing. You never realize how important your friends and family are until you need them, until you need somebody to fall back on. If I had nobody to talk to and to vent to, then my life would have been an absolute train wreck. You know, if my parents didn't... Is it not? But yeah, yes, val valid point. He's actually saying something that is good and useful and reasonable. And let's hope that... Last time he said it, last time he didn't follow it, isn't going to be the same as this time. And uh, I hope that this time he actually realized what's going on and that he might uh, stop being that. It's just you always need somebody to stand by. And even if they need help, you should tell them they need help. So to me, honey, you need help. Stop it. Get some help. I will continue posting videos. I'm never going to be bringing this up again. It will not be talked about in live stream. If anybody brings it up on my channel, you will be hidden in the comments. And not only that, but if I see it on live stream, I don't care if you try to raid my live stream. I'll hide each and every one of you until you're gone. And you can keep making new accounts. I'll keep hiding them over and over and over. Because I share a passion and love for this game. Are you sure about that, or... Is this the truth, or is the truth when he said that he's only doing Blitz until he, his GTA channel grows enough to quit Blitz? I don't know. Like, when you make two contradicting statements, it's a bit hard to believe either. Let's put it that way. And you are not going to take that away from me. So that's as simple as it is. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. No. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I will not. See him in the next one. Whew. Well, I think six out of ten. Six out of ten, I think. Um, some solid points. Obviously, a lot of uh, things said without evidence behind them, which might be for legal reasons, which might be for other reasons. 
obviously I'm not gonna again rate the validity of these accusations or these clarifications or whatever you call them. And I do think that um I have no hope. Let's put it this way. Like obviously this is a very extreme situation, but the reason why I made that one hour video in a way is also because I wanted there to be change and improvement, but when it didn't happen then, I kind of just gave up and... Yeah, let's put it this way. He wouldn't be such a bad guy if he wouldn't be himself. That's my opinion. That's what I think. What do you think about this whole situation? Did I say something wrong? What did I fuck up? Put it down in the comments. I have no idea. I am now gonna get lunch. So, have fun. Because I didn't.